The future of humanity will be guided by huge interventions of artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day lives. Naturally, armed forces are not going to stay back in this race. They are preparing for a full-fledged robotic future. It is not surprising that India is taking the lead. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Tejasvi Malhotra. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, I'm here to tell you how artificial intelligence is changing the face of Indian defense, often literally. Armed forces in what we term as developed the world are preparing to cut short the presence of humans in their organizations. While Britishers and Americans have estimated that by 2030, 25% of their army will be comprised of robot soldiers, Israel is well ahead of both these countries. They have one of the most advanced machines for border security. India, being one of the most cornered countries, had to take proactive measures. We will soon be using AI to thwart the infiltrators. Recently, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh unveiled an AI-based silent sentry and gesture recognition system. It is believed to be the solution to the gapping hole in India's surveillance system near the hostile borders both along Pakistan and China. According to the media reports, the Indian Army is already using it on India-Pakistan borders. Once charged, these robots can patrol the borders for six hours. And just like soldiers know, when they need rest and recharge, these robots themselves travel to the charging points and plug themselves. They have inbuilt recognition system through which they identify unknown and possible hostile faces and launch offensives on them. Emphasizing on the need for pounding on the developments made so far, Defense Minister said, we have started incorporation of AI applications in remotely piloted unmanned aerial vehicles, etc. There is a need to move further in this direction so that we can develop autonomous weapon systems. Though the announcement came off as sudden for many, the roadmap for such kinds of technologies had been paved way back in 2018. At that time, the world was witnessing the way in which the technologies and conflicts were changing. The war in the Middle East and other reasons were being fueled by smart bombs and they were the talk of the town. One year before the general elections, the Modi government decided to establish a task force under the chairmanship of N. Chandrasekharan, chairman Tata Sons. Its mandate was to provide a roadmap on promoting AI in defense. Task Force submitted its report in June 2018. It suggested establishment of the high-level Defense AI Council and a Defense AI Project Agency. One of them, DAIC, is currently headed by Raksha Mantri. DAIPA, with a budget of 100 crore rupees, is headed by Secretary of Defense Production. Both these organizations have coordinated well with all three services. For instance, Navy has 30 AI projects focused towards autonomous systems, maritime domain awareness, perimeter security, decision-making, predictive, inventory, maintenance, and management. It also has modern lab on AI and big data analytics. On its part, Army has also taken big steps in developing AI-based systems. It has AI Center of Excellence at the Military College for Telecommunication Engineering in Mau. It is working towards safeguarding Indian borders, which includes securing communications networks through quantum key distribution, quantum computing, and quantum communication. Additionally, Defence PSUs have also been tasked with developing various products. By the end of March this year, 40 products had already been delivered out of the pipeline. These equipments vary from those which detect stealth human activity, translate Mandarin language in real time, detect suspicious vehicles to programs capable of analysing and automating intercepts of the adversaries through decoding their languages. In four months period from March to July, 35 more products were delivered by the Army. All 75 such products were recently inaugurated at Artificial Intelligence in Defense Symposium and Exhibition organized by Department of Defense Production, Ministry of Defense. The borders are designed to control human movement. They convey that I do not agree with your way of living, but that does not mean we can't live together. Borders are big checks and balances on human violence. 
What if human violence is eliminated altogether? Sounds futuristic and too much optimistic, but it is possible.